This country holds the sixth largest oil reserves globally. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we are immersing ourselves in Kuwait, a nation in the Arabian Gulf renowned for its abundant oil wealth, striking modern architecture and rich tradition and heritage. Stay till the end to uncover the secrets behind Kuwait's economic prowess, its resilient maritime history and the captivating blend of past and present that defines this remarkable nation. Kuwait is a country located in the Middle East, nestled between Iraq and Saudi Arabia along the Persian Gulf. It's considered a very small country, with a total area of just 17,000 818 square kilometers. Kuwait's landscape is dominated by flat, sandy desert. There are no permanent rivers or lakes, which makes the terrain very dry and barren. The highest point in Kuwait is Mutla Ridge, which reaches 306 meters above sea level. While there are some isolated hills and mesas in the southwest, most of the country consists of uninterrupted desert plains. The climate in Kuwait is extremely arid. Summers are brutally hot, with temperatures frequently hitting 50 degrees Celsius or 122 Fahrenheit. Winters are short and mild in comparison. The country sees little rainfall, but occasional heavy downpours can lead to flash flooding in the wadis, which are dry desert valleys that fill with water. Dust storms frequently occur during the summer months. It has 499 kilometers of coastline along the Persian Gulf, which forms its eastern border. The country's only urban area runs along the coast and consists of Kuwait City, the capital and largest city, as well as some smaller cities and towns. Kuwait Bay indents the shoreline to form Kuwait's principal harbor. While Kuwait's desert environment sees little agricultural use, the country has prospected for oil in its territories with great success. Vast oil fields were discovered beneath the sands in 1938. Petroleum exports now drive Kuwait's economy and have brought immense wealth to the nation. The population of Kuwait is diverse, comprising several ethnic, religious and linguistic groups. According to World Bank estimates, about 4.2 million people are living here. The majority of Kuwaitis belong to the ethnic Arab group. Around 30% of Kuwait's population is made up of non-citizens, many being South Asian expatriates. There are also smaller ethnic minorities, including Persians and East Asians within the expatriate population. The predominant religion is Islam practiced by about 74% of the citizens. Of these, most are Sunni Muslims. There are also significant Shia minorities in Kuwait, as well as small groups of Christians, Hindus, Buddhists, and others. The official language of Kuwait is Arabic, and the Kuwaiti dialect of Arabic is known as Gulf Arabic. English is widely spoken as a second language, especially in business. Among the non-citizen population, other languages like Urdu, Farsi and Tagalog are also common. Let's explore some highlights of authentic Kuwaiti food. Makbus laham is a classic Kuwaiti dish of spiced rice cooked with meat. Tender lamb or chicken is first browned, then simmered in a broth of tomatoes, onions and aromatic spices. This moistens and tenderizes the meat. Parboiled rice is layered over the meat, along with more spice mix to create a flavorful pilaf. Machbus laham is the national dish of Kuwait. Jirish is a wheat and lamb porridge popular as a breakfast meal. Lamb neck meat and wheat berries are slow cooked overnight until the wheat softens into a thick and creamy porridge. Jirish is served warm often with yogurt on the side to offset its richness. This hearty and nourishing dish provides energy to start the day. Hariz is comfort food made by long cooking meat and wheat into a velvety pudding texture. 
chicken or lamb is boiled with cracked wheat until the wheat breaks down, resulting in a mildly sweet and savory porridge. Haris is customarily served during Ramadan to break the fast. It is a soothing, simple dish with nostalgic connections. Quozi are tender steamed lamb dumplings in a light tomato broth. Finely minced lamb is combined with traditional spices and enclosed in a delicate dough wrapper. The dumplings are gently cooked until the meat filling is just set. Quozi makes for the ultimate comfort food, perfect for sharing with family over conversation. Kuwait has been inhabited since ancient times. The earliest known settlements date back over 6,000 years ago to the Ubaid period. Kuwait was an important trade port in antiquity. Greek geographers referred to it as Hieros Kolpos and mentioned its thriving pearl industry. It was also part of the ancient Dilmun civilization. Kuwait became part of the Sasanian Empire in the 4th century AD. Christianity started to spread in the region during this time. The Sasanians lost control of the area after being defeated by Islamic forces in the 7th century. In the 18th century, Kuwait emerged as an independent Sheikh Dom ruled by the Al Saba dynasty. It became a major trading hub. Conflict over territory led to border disputes between Kuwait and the Ottoman Empire throughout the 19th and early 20th centuries. Kuwait's strategic location and pearl fisheries attracted interest from Britain. By 1899, it was recognized as a British protectorate. Britain helped secure Kuwait's borders from Saudi Arabia and the Ottoman threat. In the 1930s, vast oil reserves were discovered in Kuwait. This transformed the nation and economy. It became one of the main oil providers in the Middle East. In 1961, Britain ended the protectorate status and they became an independent emirate. Iraq briefly annexed Kuwait in 1990, but was expelled by a US-led coalition after the first Gulf War. Since then, Kuwait has largely maintained its sovereignty and stability. Today, Kuwait remains a highly developed and high-income country thanks to its rich oil reserves, though it continues to rely on petroleum revenue. The unique history of this small desert sheikhdom helped shape it into the prosperous nation it is today. Kuwait has a small, relatively open economy that is dominated by the oil industry. Its GDP is roughly 175 billion, according to World Bank estimates. With over 6% of global oil reserves, Petroleum accounts for nearly half of Kuwait's GDP and over 90% of its export revenues and government income. Kuwait has the sixth largest oil reserves in the world. Beyond oil, Kuwait has established a diversified economy with strong industries like financial services, real estate and construction. It has a large expatriate workforce in both white-collar jobs and services. Remittances from these foreign workers are also an important part of the economy. They regularly trade surpluses, largely due to oil exports. Major trade partners are China, India, South Korea and the United States. They joined the World Trade Organization in 1963. Kuwait faces issues with over-reliance on oil and a bloated public sector. Unemployment among citizens is higher than private sector employment. The government has struggled to diversify the economy and implement reforms. However, Kuwait has one of the highest per capita incomes globally. Its oil wealth has provided economic security and a generous welfare system. The Kuwaiti dinar is the highest valued currency unit in the world. To become less dependent on finite oil resources, Kuwait aims to grow the private sector and encourage foreign direct investment. Kuwait has a rich cultural history influenced by its Bedouin roots and seafaring traditions. Islam and Arab culture are at the heart of Kuwaiti society. In recent decades, 
Oil wealth has transformed the cultural landscape of the country. Kuwait has a thriving contemporary art scene. Sculptors like Sami Mohammed depict desert life through metalwork. Photographers like Tariq al Ghousain examine notions of Kuwaiti identity and belonging through their work. Young artists are pushing boundaries, experimenting with installation, performance and digital art forms. The oldest form of Kuwaiti theatre is Arda, a traditional dance form that tells stories through poetry and song. Modern Kuwaiti theatre emerged in the 1960s with plays often exploring social and political themes in an experimental format. Suleiman al Bassam is an iconic playwright. Kuwait's musical heritage includes sea chantés, pearl diving songs, and traditional drumming. Contemporary music integrates electronic and folk elements. Well known musicians include Bashar al Shati and Yusuf al Siddiq. Kuwait also has an energetic, independent music scene. If you enjoyed this video on Kuwait, you'll love this next one.